Hello. Today I have for you a beautiful uh, vintage pelican from my collection. It is the pelican 100N green marbled. I believe that uh, this pen was uh, produced between the years 1949 and 1954. I will start with a short uh, history lesson. So um, we have here the Pelican 100N which uh, was uh, released by Pelican in uh, 1930. This was uh, the first piston filler fountain pen released uh, worldwide. And uh, you can see it was uh, a plain uh, black one. So this is the Pelican 100. The Pelican 100N is um, the further development of the Pelican 100. Uh, N stands for new. You can see that uh, it's um, a little bit taller than uh, the Pelican 100 model. And um, it was uh, produced, so I'm talking about the Pelican 100N. It was produced between 1937 and 1954. Practically, when uh, it um, went um, to the market in 1937, for almost a year, all the Pelicans 100N were intended for the export market and um, they had an 18 karat gold nib. Practically until 1944, both the Model 100 and the 100N were produced in parallel and uh, this model remained in product, production until 1954. So, I will show you a small comparison. This is the previous model, the Pelican 100 from the 30s. My model is a bit newer. I believe it was made in the early 50s. And another model from 1954, another Pelican. This is the 140 model and a newer Pelican, the Sovereign M800 from the late 80s. So you can see a side-by-side -side comparison with this little flock of Pelicans. And we will return to our fountain pen. So, I will start by a short analysis of the body of this fountain pen. So, I will start with the cap. At the end of the cap, you can see the beautiful logo, Pelican logo, which is engraved at the top of the cap. Also, on the top of the cap, you can see uh, Gunther Wagner, Gunther Wagner, yes, Pelican, Gunther Wagner. Also, you can see this uh, beautiful um, clip. As you've um, uh, probably noticed, this isn't in the form of uh, a beak of a pelican. So it's simple with uh, uh, some um, decoration on it. Here we have a fluted uh, ring on the um, cap. 
of course there were like uh, the model before it there are also variants with two small gold rings so it is important that um, we mention that this uh, cap rings so both the two uh, rings and the fluted um, uh, ring these were available from the start in uh, the those uh, variants and um, so we can find the pelican 100 then both uh, with the two rings and both with the uh, fluted ring this is mentioned in uh, some documents uh, as early as 1938 <laughs> Why do I say that this fountain pen is made between 1949 and um, 1954? So, there are several clues that um, show us that this is a part of the second series. So, between 1937 and 1949, there was the first version of this fountain pen and the first version of this fountain pen had um, an additional grip section over here I will show you in uh, the pictures and um, so it, it is um, an additional uh, section between the um, grip section the grip section and the ink window on the barrel. This model hasn't, uh, hasn't that uh, section, so it's made after 1949. Practically, this uh, nib that you can see, I hope you can uh, focus on it, yes. This nib is um, identical to the nib from the Pelican 400 made uh, between 1950 and 1954 so uh, practically the nib is the second clue and of course the third clue is the piston knob as you can see in the transparent ink window you can see that it's made out of uh, plastic so it uh, is a newer model from uh, the early 50s so as I told you before this is a piston filler mechanism so it unscrews from this part and the knob uh, piston knob advances and retracts in the same way we have here an F which stands for the size of the gold nib it's an, a fine nib This is a classic uh, from uh, Pelican, and you can see the practical, practical the design of this fountain pen hasn't changed so much with the passing of the years. So um, um, the piston filling mechanism has suffered the little changes in time. It's practically the same as uh, in uh, the later model of the Sovereign. Uh, range of fountain pens it's um, the same easy um, tear, tear, tear down so if you hold the nib and unscrew the barrel you can uh, change if you need the nib and of course you can make um, cleaning operations to the um, barrel of this uh, fountain pen it's um, quite a nice fountain pen 
and uh, I believe um, this is a must have in um, in every fountain pen uh, collection they are uh, quite uh, reasonable priced priced and um, this is a good uh, writer and classic of the fountain pen uh, world a beautiful design of the german pen industry between uh, the two world wars and uh, after that it is uh, quite a beautiful fountain pen and um, i will show you uh, the writing sample so please uh, stay tuned so this is the writing sample with the pelican one hundred and green marbled this pen was made between 1949 and the last year of production 1954 of this model we have a fine nib It is uh, 14 carat 585 gold nib. The ink I've used is called the Parker Quink. This is uh, not as much as a flexible. Um, but uh, it's not uh, quite a rigid uh, uh, nib. I believe it writes quite well for a fine uh, nib. Thank you for watching my small review with this beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. If uh, you've enjoyed this review, please uh, subscribe. And I wish you a nice day.